Howdy, Mahabi D here. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, hundreds uh, of you sent in uh, questions, so I want to get to as many of them as I can. Uh, first question is from Daniel Buckley, 4034. He said, if you could play as any character in the game, except Arthur or John, who would you like to play as and why? Uh, the obvious que uh, answer would be Sadie <laughs> or, uh, or, or Charles. That, you know, however, think about this. Think about it now. Micah, I think that would be so much fun. Think about it. Think, think about it. Now, if you played as Micah, and he's and he's and you start at you know rock bottom low honor you know below you know just as low as you can possibly get and you got to drag him kicking and screaming and cussing and biting and you know scratch it all the way up to high honor man it would be so much fun it would it would be imagine Micah getting the uh, the deluxe bath imagine that Imagine, <laughs> that would be, imagine Micah uh, playing as Micah, uh, you know, when, when, when he meets uh, Milton and Ross. Uh, it would just be great. Micah in uh, Des Moines, De, uh, is it Des Moines? What is it? What is that? <laughs> now I forget the name of the city. Denis, uh, Saint Denis, um, Saint Denis. Uh, you, 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 you know, bumping into strangers and them giving him lip. Imagine some stranger, you know, in Strawberry or Valentine or in or Rhodes giving Mike a lip, you know, and he says good morning to him or as he rides past him. It would be so much fun. It would be, <laughs> you know, to drag Micah, you know, to to oh to high honor and then oh and then you know oh, 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 and what they what they should do if they do that they, he needs his own game. He needs to be a playable character in his own game, you know. Uh, think, think about it. Think about it. So, so, and they could have Micah talk to you, you know, like when you make him do, do something to, to make his honor move to the good, right? <laughs> you know, break the third wall. You know, that's you know where the actor can you know talks to the audience. You know, he break he breaks from the the character from the stage that talks to the audience as though you ask him to, to like uh, do something that's going to improve his honor and have him talk to you. You know, you really, you're going to regret making me do this, you button pushing butthead. You know, I mean, he would just hate doing it, right? I think, I think Micah, uh, I, th I think that would just be awesome. And he needs his own game and, you know, he could be a playable uh, character. They could call it like, uh, uh, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Three, Micah Bell, Damnation. <laughs> think about it. I think it'd be great. All right, this one is from Pot God Seven Three One Four. I am a fanatic about Dutch, and I love to know what Mojave thinks of Dutch, the character. His interpretation of this charmingly devious silver tongued bastard. His favorite moment with Dutch. Well, Pot God. Um, uh, I, I think uh, my favorite moments with Dutch, and you're right, uh, he's he's it, the 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 actor that played him just uh, wow, you know what a great character and what a great portrayal. Um, are every time they they first confront like um, we're like at the break break is it the break what was it the break. Braithwaite's manner, you know, when he went to to, uh, to find Jack, you know, I, <laughs> just the way he, you know, he's you know he's taking the lead, he's the leader, and he's gonna go in and try to reason with him, right? He always starts off trying to, you know, let's talk this out, you know, let's talk. I love that, uh, and and not only that, and then with Colm, you know, uh, towards the end there with Colm when he meets up with Colm and. Just his manner and his way of, of uh, we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way, right? You know, and he, he starts off trying to give him a chance to do it the easy way, you know. And I just love all of that. Uh, you know, his, uh, his you know, when the, um, 
when the Pinkertons come into the camp and, and just the way <laughs> he just kind of looks at him over his shoulder, you know, like, <laughs> and he, what do you call him? Um, um, I don't know. He didn't call him Milton. He called him Mildew or something. Um, you know, yeah, just all of that. Um, and my, I, it, 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 the one at the end is the one that sticks in my mind after they, you know, before they jump off the cliff, right? They, I think they were saving uh, eagle flies and all of that massacre. They massacred all, <laughs> all those cavalry men, and he has the brass to, to, when they got him cornered on the cliff <laughs> to say, <laughs> you know, it was something like, howdy, Captain, how's your day going, you know, I mean, or something, you know, being real friendly. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think those, every time Dutch, in every, in every situation, speaks right, right from the very first one at the O'Driscoll's where you meet Sadie, and they're up there in the snow, and he says, let me handle this, you know, you guys, you know, we don't need to, you know, they don't need to see you two, and he has Micah, and, um, and uh, Arthur Hyde, you know, while he goes to uh, be diplomatic. I mean, right from right from there, uh, every one of those kinds of encounters uh, with Dutch, I, I think, uh, are, are are top notch, man. Thanks for the question, Pot God. Okay, this one is from Balise eight three eight six. If you were given the opportunity to do some voice acting in a future Red Dead game, if there is one, would you take it in a heartbeat, Balise? Um, at least, uh, I, yeah, that, I, that is, um, uh, you know, I would say that's beyond my wildest dreams, um, but I, I can't even dream of that. I mean, I can't even conceive of anything like that happening, but, uh, that would be a super, uh, experience, uh, to be with all those. I, 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 I would, I would love seeing how all this is made. I, I, I'm that kind of guy. Like, I like to know how, how did the, you know, when I watch a movie, I think about it, like, how did they... You know how they how they cut it. You know to like the cameras on. Maybe it's on a, a guy's hand or a gal's hand because it's, what she's doing with her hand is important. And they cut back up to the the two faces. Um, it, it just and just the the staging and um, uh, the camera angles. I, I I would just be fascinated. It would be a tremendous learning experience to to learn how uh, you know stuff like this is put together. I, I would you know yeah I would. Do it in a heartbeat, and I do it for free. But uh, like I say, I can't even imagine in my mind something like that happening. Thank you for the question. Okay, this one is from Zen Book Review one five zero one. Please let us know how you will remember Arthur as a character. Oh wow! Um, as uh, I keep putting my phone away because if it's too close to the mic, it causes feedback. Um, and the questions are on the phones, but I have to keep it away from the mic. Uh, 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 I would remember Arthur as a character as every man. He's a, he's an every man, um, type, um, meaning that he's all of us. And by man, I mean mankind. So, so woman, women too. Um, that's Arthur. Arthur is every man. Um, and, um. And just a, uh, um, a beloved, <laughs> a beloved character. I mean, uh, uh, if, if, I mean, if he's somebody that, you know, I think of Arthur and I think of somebody that I could be best friends with, um, and, and, and enjoy, enjoy his company and look forward to his company. Thank you for the question. Uh, AKA Dylan 7082 asks, is this the best game ever like you were told before you started? And how did your expectations compare to the actual game? Um, what was the name again? I'm sorry. Uh, AKA Dylan. Um, uh, it, it exceeded my expectations. I, you know, uh, you know, my son was telling me, yeah, you got to play this, you know, I play it blind. It's the greatest game. A lot of people say it's the greatest game ever made. And I was like, eh, you know, I doubt that, but all right, well, I'll give it a shot. 
Um, yeah, it's the greatest game ever made uh, for reasons I've discussed um, on other occasions. Um, you know, it, like I, I, I've said it before, they blazed a new path. They blazed a new path in the uh, in this uh, genre, in this video game uh, business uh, and art form. And um, <clears throat> they took it to another level, and they, they got off the, the freeway, they got off the highway, and they blazed their own trail, man. Um, um, yeah, I, 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 I never expected that. I, I didn't. I thought I would end up making fun of it, you know, to tell you the truth. And just the opposite. Uh, I have, <clears throat> uh, you can't do anything but praise the game. I, I don't know how anybody could, could uh, not. Well, sure I do. I mean, it, it, it uh, everything isn't for everybody, right? I mean, everybody, you know, you know, everybody has their own opinions about and, and likes and dislikes and, and so about things. So, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for the question. It um, uh, uh, surprised me in the best way possible. Okay, the black marker asks if you were in the gang, what would your role be? I'd be the designated driver. <laughs> Black Martyr. <laughs> if you watched any of the videos, you know why that is funny. You see, I, I would be the reason that the mission, their 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 robbery in Blackwater that 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 uh, that, that dumped them all into such uh, turmoil um, failed because I'd be the one driving the wagon away with all the. Uh, all the loot and all the all the gold and money that they robbed from Blackwater, and I would crash the wagon. <laughs> that that would be my role, you know, designated. Don't let my hobby drive, for God's sake. Okay, this is from <clears throat> excuse me, Avery hmm? Avery Avery Boardcam. Um, what are your thoughts on the soundtrack from the game? A plus. A plus, um, great. I'm one of the best soundtracks, uh, not only for a game but for a movie. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, Toenail Soup four seven five, <laughs> nice name. Toenail Soup. Uh, what part of the game did you find the funniest? Me. <laughs> Me trying to play the game is freaking hilarious. Uh, you, know, you know, all the, uh, oh man, uh, I did all the running into trees and, uh, oh, choking poor William. I didn't mean to choke William, man, you know, cho hitting the wrong buttons, you know, and, and, and choking, choking dear sweet William uh, by accident and, or, or, you know, meaning to hit the, the LT so that I could uh, greet somebody and instead hitting the RT and shooting them. You know, and just all the other um, times I screwed up, I, I think and, and I'm the funniest part of the game. <laughs> Thanks for the question, man. At least I cracked myself up. I mean, I, you got, I got, you got to laugh at yourself when you make those kind of mistakes, don't you? You got to laugh. Okay, Evan Tucker five nine six eight. Why did the Mary thing affect you so much? Uh, you don't have to answer if it's too personal. I was just curious. Uh, it is too personal, um, uh, but I, I'll give you a, a general answer. It uh, hit very close to home. Uh, I, let's just say too close to home, and I can relate very, very strongly to the story arc of Arthur and Mary. Thanks for the question. Um, Antor, Anton Kor asks, are you going to finish the challenges, legendary animals, and hunting missions? Yes, I want 100% uh, completion. Uh, last time I looked, I was um, in the high 80s. I think it was over 85% completion, but yeah. Yes, thank you, Anton. I'm going to try to keep the phone here. so It's faster if I don't put the phone away, but it's, it's hard. Uh, Sebastian uh, Cairo, 6984. What do you think of Mike as actor? A+. Plus. Is he doing a phenomenal job in your his guts or what? Yeah. Um, but not just uh, his delivery uh, and uh, of his lines and his tone, uh, but his um, his body, his gestures, the way he moves. This, this uh, you know, 
you know, this, um, it's, it was just perfect. Yeah, he did a great job. Okay, let's see. Um, um, Mario Pinchu, um, um, P E N C I U. Hey, Mommy D, here from Romania. One of the most beautiful girls I ever knew uh, is, was from Romania. I, I didn't meet, I've never been to Europe. She was over here. Uh, beautiful girl. Uh, you've got beautiful girls in Romania, um, Mario. Uh, here from Romania, what mission or scene in the game reminded you of an incident from your past that got you emotional? Oh, uh, several. I mean, uh, just riding a horse, uh, uh, you know, riding the horse uh, through some of the scenery and, and that sort of thing. And just it uh, got me emotional in a, a nostalgic um, um, bringing back. Uh, memories from the 1970s, uh, you know, when I was around, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and it's a warm feeling, you know, uh, you know, to um, uh, the, uh, the scene where they, they, uh, they jump off the cliff like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and they, they get in the canoes and they go down the river. Uh, did that in real life, only without the canoes, you know. Um, and, um, you know, some of the, the hunting and the camping locations. Um, um, I've hiked, uh, you know, riverbanks and, uh, uh, and and fished in in areas that look very very similar to things in the game. So, um, you know, the emotion from the the jumping off the cliff and then they, they took the canoe down the river was exciting. It got me excited and happy to remember I, I, I I've done that. Um, and then to the interactions with Mary, which you know made me very um, very sad because um, I've had uh, similar uh, the whole Mary John Arthur arc is very familiar to me. I, I can relate to it, and so then you, you have the sadness. Um, so yes, um, those I. I think that answers your question. Let's, let's see if we can get another one here without me putting the phone away. Uh, hopefully, the phone being here doesn't cause too much um, echo. Um, which part of the game did you find most enjoyable, like horses or the gunplay? And that is from Why Taco Four Thing. <laughs> Why Talk? Wait a minute. E Tac. Why T A C C Four Thing? Uh, thanks for the question, uh, Itak, for the, uh, the, obviously the horses, um, the horses, um, uh, geez, it just brought me back, you know, brought me, brought me back to, you know, when I was in my twenties, um, it, uh, I, I, I said it, it while playing the game, uh, probably a dozen times, I could just do this and be happy, like if I was still working, if I still had a job, and uh, I came home from work and just wanted to unwind. I would just fire up Red Dead, uh, get up on a horse, and and just ride. You know, not do anything. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the question. Um, this is from Drake Shakur from Belarus. Hey, howdy. Um, what? was the most intense moment in the game can you describe these feelings uh the most intense is the whole i, I think it's like a three mission it's like a three-parter really the you know the end of chapter six um um uh, culminating uh with with arthur dying uh and all of that it's really like a, um, um like a three-parter isn't it um it seems to me it was like a three-parter um, um, all of that was, was very intense and, um, evocative, you know, it, it, it evoked various, uh, emotions, uh, to the point that when it's done, I mean, I had to go out, sit outside for 15 minutes and compose myself. Thanks for the question. Okay. This is, uh, from Shrek boy, nine, 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 nine. Uh, Will Todd Smith and Nightcracker Crawler Nightcracker. Sorry, man. Nightcrawler. Sorry. 
Um, what is your favorite town and state in Red Dead? Uh, San Denis, favorite uh, town, hands down. Uh, just all the detail that, and it's big, you know. So they they had a lot more stuff that they could do in there. Oh, uh, San Denis. Uh, the first time I saw that, it was just like, whoa, what? A, whoa, <laughs> you know. Uh, and what was the other? So that's favorite town. A favorite state would be where we ended up, where we're at, where we are now, or at the end with John. Um, I think the most beautiful part of the map um, is all is all up there by um, the Indian Reservation, the Wapiti Indian Reservation. That entire surrounding area and and the, the views and the vistas uh from up high uh is is the most i think stunning uh part of the game thanks for the question i gotta look at another I'm trying to keep the phone away from the microphone so i don't get echo i haven't done a sound <clears throat> a sound check hopefully we're not getting too much of echo let me check okay ball handle 82 asks will you be playing red dead online no um i'll tell you why um, well, for one, um, um, my plate is full, um, uh, for what I have planned, uh, coming up. I mean, I've already got, um, uh, you know, Red Dead 1, uh, Bladder, Bladdergate, uh, 3, and, um, there's a third one, um, that we want to mix in there. Um, so time is an issue. The other issue with, with online is, um, it's, it's the same reason. It's, it's like this. Uh, it, when I listen to music, like if I'm in a car, um, I don't turn the radio on if, there, if I have a car full of people, uh, because I want to hear the music, you know, and I don't, you know, and, uh, and all the people in the, you know, everybody's talking. I mean, you want to interact with the people and socialize, or do you listen to the music? I want to listen to the music. Well, I, I don't want to be rude, and I don't want them interrupting my enjoyment of the songs, so I don't turn it on, you know. Uh, so uh, I play games uh, to enjoy the game, um, and I and not to socialize. It's um, and when you play online and you're interacting with other people, it's more um, everybody there. It seems is there for the social aspect of it, and that's fine. I'm not I'm not knocking that. It's just that. That, that's not why I turned the game on to play it. it. I didn't turn it on to to socialize. I turned it on to play the game. So uh, uh, that's just me. And I, again, I don't. Uh, and I have been in party. You know, I played games where you know I'm in party with a lot of friends. And but it, um, I can't enjoy my time playing the game because you know you're you're uh, in community and, and socializing with with all the friends in the party and that's enjoyable too but i uh, if i'm gonna play a game i want to play the game and i don't want to socialize uh, i'm anti-social <laughs> uh foxy knight four five nine five and, and mosque um one six eight nine ask anything you're looking forward to in red dead one just playing the game um I'm looking forward to playing the game and seeing, because I, I know, um, my, I think my son told me it's like it was made like 15 years ago. So I'm really interested to see um, um, what Rockstar, what they had in their mind 15 years ago, uh, had in their mind when they did that and, and, and see if they even had, had thoughts of making a, a Red Dead 2. Um, you know, and, uh, and, and how the gameplay is, how, how, how the movement is, how the characters look, how just, and, and the detail, see, uh, what kind of detail Rockstar was paying attention to 15 years ago, you know, cause they are extremely, uh, de paid extremely good, close de attention to detail for this game. So I'm looking forward to, to those kinds of things. Uh, thanks for the question. I hope the phone isn't causing feedback, guys. Um, we already answered that one. 
Uh, Sophia Alfaro, 437, how was life when you were young? Great. <laughs> uh, 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 life is always great. Uh, you know, it's great to be alive, man. Um, yeah, are you, I, I don't know what you're at. Uh, different, different than it is now, way different. I mean, uh, the world, if you're just talking about the world, not my life, but the world was different. It was a much safer place. Um, there were people outside <laughs> all the time. Uh, everybody was outside. Uh, you know, you'd walk through the, uh, the neighborhoods and there'd be, um, uh, children your own age or, you know, you know, teenagers. I, like what if, when I was real young, I'd be, so you'd have to interact with, with, with kids your own age and you had to, uh, react and deal differently with teenagers because teenagers like to pick on the younger guys. You know, and so, you know, so there was a different dynamics with uh, how you interacted with your own age group. And then you had to interact with the teenagers, which were, you had to be careful with those guys. And, and, um, and then adults, the adults were outside too. Uh, so it was, um, I think if I was to describe the world then, or my experience in the world then with now, it was an outside world then, and it's an inside world now. Uh, everybody stays inside, man. Uh, it's weird. Uh, um, it's weird. It really is. But it was, yeah, it was out. It was a, it was a, um, a daytime outside activity world. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> I don't know. Um, hold on. I got to stop for a second. Okay, this one is from Morning Mary 67. Mojave D, can you sing? I think so. <laughs> uh, some songs, sometimes. Uh, and have you ever worked in radio TV? Well, that is a huge compliment uh, that you would think that I, I, I would. No, no. You have such an intriguing voice. Thank you, Mary. Um, uh, Virgo asks, what are your hobbies outside of playing video games? Um, used to be um, outdoor stuff. Um, um, my, my younger days, outdoor stuff. Um, um, now, um, um, this takes up so much time. Um, I, I don't know, uh, Virgo, if you understand the amount of time it takes uh, to, to, to do this. Um, and so I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have any free time, man. Um, you know, other than, you know, doing, you know, normal stuff, you know, around the house and shopping, cooking, eating. Um, but I don't have spare time. <laughs> My spare time is taken up uh, doing this. Um, um, Witty Walk asks, hello, sir, simple question. Bicycle, horse, motorcycle, car, limousine, ambulance. What else did you drive? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I think you covered all. Uh, well, bus, buses. Um, uh, backhoe, does that count? <laughs> uh, backhoe and uh, forklifts and bobcats. I never drove a tractor. I would love to drive a John Deere tractor. You know, uh, the old ones are modern. The modern ones are amazing they're amazing um i think that's it <laughs> all right let me pick the phone up there back oh i forgot motorhomes and somebody keeps messaging me motorhomes i've left that one out i think we've got them all covered now okay wyatt matheson asks how tall are you who the hell cares <laughs> Uh, in my prime, uh, five, ten and a half. Uh, and so I put cowboy boots on and I can be six feet tall. Uh, but I'm not in my prime anymore. When you get in your seventies, you start losing, you start shrinking a little bit. So, uh, somewhere in the last, uh, two years, I went from five, ten and a half to like fine five, nine in a fraction. So, uh, it'll happen to you too, man. You'll get into your seventies and you'll see, you'll start losing some inches. <laughs> you'll start... <laughs> a little bit shorter okay anina134 states oh she states it's not a, a question i wanted to think of a meaningful question but i just can't 
Oh, Nina, that's all right, man. I'm, I, they're, they're all meaningful. Uh, I just want to say that you, Mojave D, and your boys are just something else. Thank you for, for acknowledging them. Thank you. I'm so happy that I saw the first upload of RDR2 and had the curiosity to watch it. Thank you. Thank you, Anita. Thank you. Um, it's, um, it's all of you. It's you uh, that make this special to me. Um, um, the game is fun. I mean, I would, if I played the game without, um, recording it or anything like that, I would have enjoyed it. But the, uh, the most enjoyment I get out of it is from this community. And so thank you, Anina, very, very much. Okay. This one is from no Mick or no Mike, N O M I C. Hello, Mr. Mojave D. Well, hello, no, no, hello to you too. <laughs> I love your videos and stories. Would you mind please telling us one of your favorite stories about your mother and father? If this is too personal, feel free to deny much love from the Bayou of Kansas. Bayous of Kansas, Arkansas. Arkansas? I said Kansas. I can't find it. Arkansas. Wonderful. Thanks, man. Um... I I, 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 uh, I I think I've told a couple about my mom and dad, but I never told this one, I don't think. Um, my dad's last, last night on the planet, last night of life. Uh, so this will give you some insight into my mom and dad uh, who were married for life. Um, it's his, he's... This is his last night, all right? He doesn't know that, <laughs> you know? And uh, my mom tells the story. She told the story to me and, well, to and my brother and sisters. Um, he was, it was time to go to bed. He was chasing her around the kitchen trying to get a kiss. <laughs> so the kitchen had two uh, an entry you know it's like l-shaped so like you could go in you know and, and out and in an outdoor you know in this way out that way and uh <laughs> and she she tells a story and she's she said she says he had me right i was right so my mom's running or trying to get away from him you know just to, and he was just trying to catch her and get a kiss and um, and he died that night in his sleep. And uh, my mom said she is so sorry. And she was apologizing to him that um, she didn't let him kiss her. You know, one last time. You know, he was. They were just funning and with each other. Um, so, all right, smoke them if you got them. I need a little break here. All right, man. I think we'll call it there. I can't follow that. Um, I can't follow, I, I can't. Um, so thank you all uh, for being here and thank you all for supporting the channel. It's very, very much appreciated. Um, it, it, uh, it brings a lot of joy and happiness to, to me and uh, I appreciate you all very, very much. So <clears throat> I want you all to take care and we'll see you on the next one, which will be uh, Red Dead 1. And, um, and we're going to do um, Bladdergate 3. And um, <clears throat> um, that's starting next week. So tomorrow's Easter Sunday, uh, the most glorious day in the history of the universe. And uh, so uh, starting Monday, uh, we'll have some, uh, I'll, I'll have, uh, we'll start Red Dead, Red Dead, the first Red Dead, uh, Red Dead 1. And, um, and I want to play um, um, uh, uh, Bladdergate 3 and, uh, and possibly um, The Last of Us. Um, um, I might check that out as well. So uh, we'll see you then. Y'all take care. We'll catch you on the next one.